Caught on camera, two of Japan's most notorious fugitives who've been in hiding in North Korea. Should they return to Japan, the North will say that it should no longer be on the US government's list of state sponsors of terror. Now they're prepared to give themselves up, some 38 years after their botched hijack of a Japan Airlines plane led them to seek sanctuary in the communist North. Their hostages were released in Seoul and the hijackers, members of the Red Army faction, flew north, where they were welcomed as heroes of the revolution. This may well be the first time that the hijackers Takahiro Konishi and Moriaki Wakabayashi have been filmed, here meeting with European parliamentarian Glyn Ford. In Pyongyang's Korea Hotel, they told him that they would return, but only if some charges, their alleged complicity in kidnapping other Japanese citizens in the 70s and 80s, are dropped. Of course, the North has admitted that they did abduct a number of Japanese, uh, number of Japanese, and and take them to North Korea back in the the 70s and 80s, and there's still some unanswered questions about what happened to some of them. Now, as North Koreans face the prospect of yet more severe food shortages. The reclusive Kim Jong-il is seeking to improve relations with both South Korea and Japan. To help get the vital supplies he needs, Kim Jong-il wants the hijackers to return to Japan. North Korea is a famously secretive state, so why had the hijackers been allowed to appear in person before a Western politician? This rather incongruous looking house in a suburb in West London is in fact the North Korean embassy. Some years ago, the North Koreans normalized relations with Britain and the European Union. Now they want to do the same with Japan. But their main objective is to be removed from the United States list of state sponsors of terrorism. And there is no question that this is a crucial time for North Korea, which in return for giving up its nuclear capability will receive the aid the regime needs to survive. The aging Japanese hijackers are part of that bargaining process. Yet many still believe that North Korea poses a threat, even if the country can barely feed itself. Mark Seddon, Al Jazeera.